I just watched the new documentary, Let There Be Light, with Matt Redman and his wife, Beth, and wow, it is fantastic. The 30-minute documentary shares the spiritual abuse that took place in their lives and the lives of many people that worked under the leadership of Mike Pilavachi in the United Kingdom and his involvement in the powerful soul survivor Christian movement. It takes a lot of courage and vulnerability for someone as successful worldwide as Matt Redman to share the things that he shares in this video. I've only ever known him through his music, so it was very fascinating and inspiring to hear about his personal story and his wife's story of the abuse that they suffered under Mike's leadership. This video really helped emphasize for me that if you're in a relationship or have a connection with someone with spiritual authority over you, if you ever notice that something feels off or weird about something that they said or did, then pay attention to that gut feeling. Don't downplay it or dismiss it by saying, oh, that's just how they are. You know, they're just being silly or they're just having a bad day. No, if something makes you feel uncomfortable or awkward, then pay attention. It's probably because they crossed a boundary that they shouldn't have crossed or it might be the Holy Spirit gently telling you, hey, this isn't good. You need to move away from this person. God might even tell you, I want you to bring this situation to light. Pay attention if something doesn't set well with you. You don't have to be physically touched to be abused. Emotional abuse is very damaging in itself and can cause harm for a lifetime if left unaddressed. The more we can speak up, the sooner hopefully we can put an end to unhealthy spiritual leaders doing significant damage to the hearts and minds of Christians all around the world. So if something feels off, pay attention to it and talk about it with a trusted person, maybe a spouse, a parent, a teacher, or a close friend, and then take the next steps necessary to address the issue. Maybe that's going to other leaders in the church, and if the leadership structure and team is unwilling to take your concerns seriously, then that's probably a clear sign that it might be time for you to get out of that toxic environment. A church without accountability is a church that's destined to one day crumble. Everybody should have to answer to somebody. Please watch the documentary and ask God what he might have you do in response to it. I'll drop the video below in the description. Thanks, guys.